Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests. Welcome to this 2012 European Business Awards for the Environment. This year's competition has attracted a record of 156 entries, a big record, entries coming from 24 countries. It covers both processes and products. Uh, it uh, deals with uh, those that are particularly focusing on biodiversity. It has an international component. But we really try to select with a jury of experts uh, those companies that have gone the extra mile, going more than just abiding by environmental legislation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2010 EBA winner of the product category, Vice President of Energy ICT, Mr. Spencer Riegler. Before giving you the floor, I think it would be interesting to watch a video of the product that gave you the, the award so that we understand a little bit more your experience. Energy ICT is known the world over for the design and realization of hardware and software solutions for energy management. Their leading innovation is the EI server an energy monitoring and control system that made it possible for one major retailer to make a 20% reduction in its energy consumption throughout its chain of shops. Oh, I think it was very useful for us because it gave us an opportunity to be more visible and more credible in the market with our product and we were able to use it on a number of occasions to actually demonstrate that we have a strong capability, in this case in energy management. Uh, are you ready, Mr. Falkenberg? Okay, well, one minute and we'll go with it. <laughs> First, I would like to invite you to watch a video presenting the achievements of the three nominees in the management category. The regional water supplier, ADP, has developed an integrated management system to address water quality and quantity challenges. The system materializes the company's economic, environmental and social commitments towards sustainability. Product safety, energy efficiency, waste management and reduction of water losses are all taken into account. Employee involvement is assured through targets and training. The company involves schools and the wider community, for example through visits to its environmental education center and an awareness campaign on the safe consumption of tap water. Supplying water to 1.7 million people, ADP's model enables the lowest price for the consumer. A reference in the industry, the company is proposing its award-winning system to other water suppliers. Marks & Spencer has a vision to become the world's most sustainable retailer. In 2007, it launched Plan A to embed the sustainable management of resources across all its operations. Recycling is just one of 180 ambitious commitments. Improved processes have resulted in a 34% reduction in waste, with 98% of the remainder recycled, including all unsold food. Plan A extends to all employees. The company's annual volunteer awards recognize staff members that have made an outstanding commitment to communities. In addition, training and special incentives are provided to encourage green behavior. Plan A makes excellent business sense. In 2010 to 2011 alone, the program delivered over 70 million pounds in net benefits exploding the myth that sustainability has to be expensive. In 2008, SNCF implemented Synergia, a new procurement process embracing environmental and health protection and enhanced resource management. This innovative approach combines cost, quality, sustainability and corporate social responsibility criteria. The new vision looks differently at the way of doing business with suppliers. SNCF 700 purchasers have transformed from simple buyers to business partners. At the end of 2010, the implementation of sustainability measures has brought benefits to SNCF, its stakeholders, the environment and society. 
demonstrating that it is possible to be more responsible and generate a higher global value. And the winner is... Don't look over my shoulder. <laughs> Hold your breath. Marks and Spencer. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, okay. Marks and Spencer, for its plan A. Here you go. A nice little trophy yes. to bring home. Marks and Spencer is the well first one getting this new award. Plan A really focuses on all the big issues affecting a retailer such as Marks and Spencer, so climate change, waste, raw materials, fair partnership, treat, treating people fairly in our business and in our supply chain, and really um, are focusing on health, trying to help our customers live healthier lifestyle. Following the same procedure as we did with the management award, let's watch first the videos of the nominated companies. By 2030, 45% additional energy will be required to meet the needs of the world's population. Aquamarine Power's innovative oyster wave power technology addresses this challenge. This pioneering device captures energy in ocean waves and converts it into clean, sustainable electricity. Oyster is one of the few wave energy technologies in full-scale production. A buoyant hinged flap the device is attached to the nearshore seabed, avoiding open ocean storms. Its movement turns two hydraulic pistons that push high pressure water onshore via a subsea pipeline to drive a conventional hydroelectric turbine. Almost 70% of our current electricity comes from carbon intensive fossil fuel. By harnessing the world's vast, untapped wave energy resource, Oyster offers a unique, innovative, and sustainable alternative. Lichtblick has developed an environmentally friendly home power plant in cooperation with Volkswagen. The cogeneration unit simultaneously produces heat and electricity, increasing energy efficiency. Lichtblick is the first company to address the mass market with such an innovative concept. Every home power plant covers the local heat demand of the entire building where it is installed. Via the mobile phone network, individual decentralized units are linked as a single virtual power plant, controlled remotely. The company calls this swarm power production. Its flexibility compensates for fluctuating supply from renewables and increases stability in the grid. Compared to conventional separate heat and electricity production in Germany, the high efficiency home power plant reduces emissions by up to 60%. It also makes usage of cogeneration easy and affordable for the customer. Ochsner has developed a new high efficiency split evaporator for its air to water heat pumps, significantly boosting their efficiency and reducing noise. This design combination contributes to a major decrease in energy consumption and heating costs in old buildings. The heat pump is fast and easy to install. The energy required to run the new generation of pumps is very low. No waste is produced and there are no emissions on site. The product's performance has been verified by an independent body and its replication potential is high. An increase in energy prices brings an increase in demand for high efficiency heat pumps amongst consumers, especially in the renovation sector. Ochsner's innovative product results in enormous energy efficiency gains and sets new standards in the market. The winner is... The Oscar goes to... <laughs> Aquamarine Power. <laughs> product Award 2010. High energy device that captures wave energy to transform it into clean, sustainable energy so that we can use it. Congratulations. A tremendous accolade to win an award like this, particularly prestigious that it's given by the European Commission. And to get a recognition on that sort of pan European stage is tremendous for a small company such as ours. 
thanks for the process award. Freudenberg has developed an innovative method of manufacturing metal rings for dynamic seals. Called narrow strip forming laser welding technology, the process is economical and saves resources and chemicals. Instead of punching rings from a broad steel strip, the starting material is a narrow strip. The strip goes into a roller bending unit, is then cut to length by laser and welded into a ring by the same laser. The rings are custom finished in a continuous inline process. When they leave the end of the line, they are ready to use. Offering speed, precision and quality, the process is virtually waste free and reduces material use by an average 73%. Impressively, almost 2,000 tonnes of steel and 3,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions can be saved by each production line per year. Gemma Solar is the first commercial concentrated solar power plant with a central tower receiver and molten salt storage technology. The plant's 2,650 heliostats, or mirrors, point to a central receiver in the top of the tower. This absorbs solar radiation and heats up the molten salt compound that circulates in its interior. In exchange with water, these salts produce steam that moves a turbine, generating electricity. The plant has a storage capacity of 15 hours. This means it can continue to operate during the night or cloudy weather. It can also respond easily to the grid's demand. Gemma Solar's innovative technology can supply more than 27,000 households annually with clean, safe electricity. The commercial operation of the plant is a revolution in the sector and makes generating dispatchable power from renewable sources a reality. Umicore has developed the world's first recycling process that enables metal recovery for a new generation of rechargeable batteries with minimal environmental impact. Commonly used in consumer electronics and electric vehicles, these batteries contain chemical elements defined by the European Union as critical for Europe. In 2011, Umicore built an industrial scale facility. Here, the new technology enables recycling without mechanical disassembling, avoiding the release of dust and organics into the atmosphere. The process consumes almost no energy or chemicals, and less than 3% of the battery material ends up as waste. Importantly, the majority of metals recovered in a closed loop can be used in new batteries. Meeting the EU's battery directive objectives, this environmentally sound process makes the company a leader in the sector. The winner is Yumicor. Congratulations. The European Commission is focusing on resource efficiency and with the recycling process that we have uh, developed, we will recycle the uh, scarce materials which are in the batteries. So it's not only cobalt or nickel, but it's also the rare earth elements that we can recover and put back into the economy. We just have two more awards to go. Let's go with the International and Cooperation Award. And I would like to invite you to watch the videos presenting the achievements of the two nominees. Greenstream Network has developed in Beijing a leading center of environmental excellence with its local partner, Juno Capital Group. This carbon hub is leading the global development of renewable energy and is the largest supplier of certified emissions reduction under the clean development mechanism of the Kyoto Protocol. The partnership manages 60 projects, mainly in the renewable sector. These are forecast to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions by 50 million tons CO2. The benefits of the cooperation, especially knowledge sharing, have been substantial. Greenstream has been able to establish relationships with many major Chinese energy companies, and Juno's technical capacity has been enhanced through its Finnish partner. This successful partnership highlights how positive environmental outcomes can be achieved through international business cooperation.
Inensus has developed MicroPower Economy, an innovative model for electricity supply in off-grid villages of developing countries. The model has been tested successfully in Sine Musa Abdu, Senegal. It is currently being replicated in another 31 villages, totaling more than 30,000 inhabitants. Based on a private-public partnership approach, the model aims at attracting large-scale private investments into renewable energy power supply components. Creating a competitive electricity market in the village, it ensures affordable and reliable supply to households, small businesses and public facilities. Villagers are supported by a microfinance institution to use the electricity for income generating purposes. Micropower economy takes into account environmental protection through a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and local pollution, economic development through the creation of income streams, and social equity. Inensus plans to electrify 100 villages by the end of 2015, while stakeholders in other regions are looking to replicate the model in their own countries. And yes. the winner is Inensus. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to Inensus. Well, being here and being awarded is, well, it's just overwhelming because actually we, we re really need this kind of publicity to um, take our model forward, to set up, to find partners in new countries, to find investment partners, to find banks, to find, uh, to convince regulatory bodies in different countries, to convince ministries. So that is what really helps us a lot. It's the final countdown now, isn't it? Yeah. Business and Biodiversity Award. Since 2007, Cafe Direct and its partners have been developing and implementing adaptation strategies with smallholder tea and coffee farmers experiencing climate change firsthand. The strategy has been piloted in Sepi Cafe Coffee Cooperative in Peru. Here, extreme deforestation at high altitudes has led to degraded land and increased frequency of landslides. Actions supporting biodiversity include training coffee farmers to prevent soil erosion through sustainable practices, planting shade trees amongst crops, and using leaves as compost. The pioneering Reforestation Sierra Pura project reforests a watershed at high altitude, generating carbon credits to be sold on the voluntary market. 10% of the income funds adaptation activities. Cafe Direct's innovative methodology has been picked up by NGOs, local and international governments and become a best practice example for other businesses. Through its Energy for Nature project, the electricity generator Slovenske Elektranje aims to protect nature and the environment through sustainable development and preservation of biodiversity. The company cooperates with the Tatras National Park to save and support the most critically endangered species. Thanks to the project, the chamois population has nearly doubled and the marmot replaced in areas where it was extinct. Falcons, trout, eagles, wolves and lynx are also closely monitored. Employees volunteer to clean and cultivate the natural environment as well as engage in educational activities targeting young people. The protection of species is crucial to stabilizing the food chain and saving the flora and fauna of Slovakia's largest national park. The company's actions are making a significant contribution to protecting biodiversity for future generations. The French inland waterways operator has developed a sustainable approach to restore, maintain and consolidate embankments. The techniques use plants, wood and biodegradable textiles instead of steel or concrete, benefiting biodiversity restoration. The smooth slope design and natural materials minimize bank erosion from wave actions, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, cut down on waste and improve water quality. The project has a positive impact on the production and development of fishes and other species, enables better access to water for many animals to drink and slows down the spread of invasive alien species. 
VNF's techniques are less expensive than traditional ones, meaning that ecological engineering of embankments is a win-win solution for both man and the environment. The winner is... Slovenske Elektrane. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, I'm pretty happy that uh, our project has been awarded in this way. We didn't expect it to win, but uh, we are really proud of to, uh, all the people who participated in this project. So it's uh, really an honor for our company. So everyone, everyone so, up on the stage. Yes, please. <laughs> it's uh, photo time. Well, it was great. I mean, all, uh, a lot of European uh, countries were represented, uh, all talking about the same language, about, you know, sustainable development, about sustainability and responsibility in the businesses, products and processes. I was really amazed by all the uh, uh, nominees and uh, the winners. I mean, it was great. So for us, it's, big, uh, it's very important to be here because we are a small company uh, and a public company, and uh, we are in this uh, award with big companies, uh, for instance, in our, in our, in the management part, uh, we, are, we are with uh, two big companies, the Chemin de Fer de France, the uh, Martin Spencer. So we are a small, very small company, so it's very important for us.